Hey guys, welcome to the Shopify tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add reviews to your Shopify store. We're also going to be setting up an automatic funnel to ask your customers to leave a review 14 days after purchasing your product. The whole thing is super easy and it's done automatically for you. So let's go ahead and set it up. So to add reviews to our store, we're going to be using a platform called OmniSend, which I'm going to leave linked here in the description. OmniSend is super easy to use. We can use it to do email marketing, SMS marketing, to set up pop-ups and also to add reviews to our store. The process is very simple. We're going to take it step by step. And if by any chance you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, I'm also going to leave the best current deal for getting started with Shopify down in the description. So go on ahead, find the OmniSend link down below and create your account. Once you're inside, we're going to click over here on reviews and then we're going to click on get started. Now just make sure that you are logged into your Shopify store in another tab because we're going to be going back and forth here. So we're going to click on open Shopify settings and that's going to take us straight into the theme editor. So as you can see here, super simple OmniSend reviews has automatically been added to our product page. If we click up here, we can see how it looks on full screen. And there we have the customer reviews. Now these are not actually real reviews. As you can see here, it says sample reviewer. So it's just kind of a preview for you and your theme. And here you can drag and drop the review section to wherever you please. So we're going to drag it right underneath the product listing. And there we have it. Now, once you've done this, click on save and then go back to the OmniSense tab. Now we're going to click on confirm completed changes and go to the next step. All right, now we're going to add the customer ratings. These are these little stars that are visible near the product title. So let's open the settings. And here we are taken to the same product page once again. So here we have the star ratings block. It was added under all of this other product information here. Let me just quickly turn off the inspector so it's a little bit easier to look at. Okay. So here we have the stars. Now we're actually going to move this right underneath the product price since that's the usual placement for these little ratings. And there we have it. Now we can see a five star review here on this product. So we're going to click on save once again. And by default, this is going to be added to all of your products on Shopify, as long as you have only one default product template. So as you can see here, I have one default product template that's been assigned to 27 of my products. So if you're creating custom product pages, then you're going to have to add this individually to each template. Now let's go back to the OmniSense tab. And we're going to click on confirm completed changes as we just completed adding our star ratings. All right, so now we're going to click on the next step. Now, the cool thing about OmniSend is that it's not just a review app. So they actually also have built in email automation systems in their software, which means that within the same platform, they will automatically create an automation for us that's going to ask your customer to leave a review 14 days after their purchase and thank them for their review. So this is basically a workflow inside OmniSend that's very similar to their other email marketing workflows. If you haven't set up any email marketing workflows with OmniSend yet, then make sure to watch this other video that's going to be linked in the description. In that video, I teach you how to design pop-ups with OmniSend and how to create different email automations that you can use to increase your sales. All right, now we're going to click on finish. And your reviews will appear over here. So if we go back to our store, here you're going to see the review section that's been added by OmniSend. So if we click on leave a review, here they can put their star ratings and write what they think. Now they can also add photos if they want to, but it's optional. And the review has been submitted. Now you can actually customize all of this inside OmniSend if you want to. So if we go back to OmniSend, we refresh the page. Here you're going to see the new review that has just been entered. Now, as you can see, it's still unpublished. So it's not visible in the store just yet. 
So if you want to make this visible, you can just click on publish. And you also have three other options here. You can choose to add a verified badge, to reply or to delete. If you add a verified badge, you're basically telling your customers that this review came from somebody who truly purchased this product and it's a verified review. If somebody has questions or concerns about your product, it's really advisable that you reply to that. And if it's just spam or, you know, horrible hate, you can delete it if you want to. For now, we're going to publish it and go back to the store. And there you're going to see the first review. Now let's go back to Omnisend. And here, if we click on settings, here we have email reviews and we have store reviews. So store reviews are entered through our online store and email reviews are the ones that are coming from this email automation workflow. So just a reminder, when we installed Omnisend into our Shopify store, we also automatically created a workflow that asks a customer to leave a review 14 days after purchasing your product. So whatever reviews come from that workflow are under this category of email reviews. So here, as you can see, it's set to publish automatically, but you can also change it to publish manually if you prefer to look over them first. And if you want to publish them automatically, they also give you the option to filter which ones are going to be published automatically. So right now it's set to all reviews, meaning that whatever reviews comes through our email list, it's just gonna be published automatically. If we put it on at least two stars, then any reviews that have less than two stars are not going to be published automatically. And the same idea goes for three stars, four stars, and only five stars. So if you only want four stars and up to be published automatically, then you can select this. And for the store reviews, this is automatically set to publish manually, which is probably recommended since we're just not sure if those people truly have purchased our product or if it's potentially just spam. So I recommend leaving this on publish manually so you have a good overview of what's happening. Make sure to click on save. And if you have enabled Google Shopping with your Shopify store, then you can click over here to sync Omnisend reviews with Google Shopping. So if you wanna do that, you just have to enter your Google Shopping feed URL right here. Now, as I mentioned, you are going to have an automated funnel that asks your customer to leave a review 14 days after making their purchase. So if you want to edit this workflow and edit the amount of days that have passed before they are asked for a review, you can go over here to automations. And here you're gonna see the review follow-up and the review request. So the review request is the first email that is sent two weeks after the customer fulfills the order. And the review follow-up is an email sent one minute after the review is submitted that is basically thanking them for the review. So if you want to change this, you can click over here and click on edit. Now here you're gonna see your workflow. It's laid out very visually, so it's pretty easy to understand. This is basically your email automation. So here you can see the workflow begins when the customer fulfills their order and it finishes when they refund the order or submit a product review. So if you want to change the amount of time that has to pass before they're asked for a review, then click over here. And here you can enter your specific timing. So you can choose minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, or even immediately. So depending on what you're selling, there is going to be an option here that's better for you. Ideally, I recommend waiting at least a couple hours to give your customer the opportunity to experience your products before you ask them for a review. And here you can edit the look of the email that asks them for a review. So if you want to do that, you can just click here on edit content. And here you can edit everything. This is a drag and drop builder, so it's super easy to use. You just click on the blocks and enter your information here on the side. I actually have another Omnisense tutorial where I walk you through the entire process of creating email automations and editing your emails. So if you need some extra help with that, I'm gonna leave that video linked below. Once you're done, click on finish editing. So then after seven days, another email is sent, which is a reminder for them to share a review. So same thing here, if you want to edit this, you can click on edit content. And you also get other customization options like adding SMS, push notifications, the entire thing is completely customizable, so you can set this up however you want to. Now let's close this. And here we have the review follow-up, which is basically the email that is sent after your customer submits a review. So if you want to change this, you can click over here on edit content and follow the same steps to customize your email. 
And that's how you add reviews to your Shopify store using OmniSend. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop them down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. Quick reminder, OmniSend is going to be linked here in the description. And if by any chance you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, I'm also going to leave the best current deal for getting started with Shopify down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It'll be super, super appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.